Yes, we are online, I believe. Okay. Uh, does everyone see me? Okay. Welcome to our webinar. As you know, today we will talk about uh, pipeline integration systems. Uh, my guests uh, today are uh, Agar Technical Coordinator uh, and Petrol Engineer Mohamed Hassan and Mechanical Engineer Musa Levent. Uh, we will answer all of your questions at the end of the presentation. So I'm leaving stage to the Mohammed Bay, and that's it. You're welcome, to everybody. Uh, I will start with our presentation. So first of all, Our subject is pipeline pigging systems and the product transportation and the pipelines. The pipelines, it's uh, certain when it started to use in the oil transportation, but according to some records and research, the late of 18th century, the first successful pipeline was built and used for oil transportation. And it's take its place among the important systems with the other uh, industries also, like water, gases, chemicals. And there was a lot of economic benefits accord. For example, in 2014, Pipeline transport of crude oil cost about $5 per barrel. Meanwhile, the rail transport cost is about $10 to $15 per barrel. And also the benefits of the product and time saving, environmental benefits, safety consideration. This also bring the pipeline and the pipeline transportation to the most important system in the oil industries. So what is picking and picking is station? To keep the above benefits on a higher rate, uh, picking is used for large diameter of oil industry pipelines and increased by today for smaller sizes and other services in the facilities. The pigging is inserting a device into the pipeline referred as a PIX to perform various commissioning, maintenance, operation, and leather and scrub ballets are whoppered with wire used in the early time. And this makes a noise like squaring uh, same the peaks. So the name of the peaks comes from there. Why we need the peaking needed for the pipeline? First on the construction stage, removing the debris left in the construction new pipeline like welding box, tools, welding rows, and so on. And second, for the hydrostatic testing, the peak receiver launchers used as a headers, and also to remove the water and drying the pipeline after the testing. Also, for the maintenance stage, we have to use the Pigging system for particle cleaning of the pipeline and scraping any effects blocking and uh, operation performance. Also for ultrasonic inspection for the uh, corrosion testing of the pipeline and if any defects on the pipeline. 
Also in operation stage, the peaks also used for multi uh, product transportation from the pipeline. So we can use the same pipeline to transport different liquids. And we are using the peaks to clean the uh, products and separate the products from each other. And also for product sampling, and clearing the pipeline from the product. So there is several uh, types of the peaks. It's, it depends on the usage of it and what we need to do. For example, the utility peaks, they are used for cleaning, dewatering, and sealing of the gas of the pipeline. The mandrel peaks, this uh, peaks consist with a brush for cleaning, so solid gas peaks, foam peaks, speckle peaks, and inspection peaks, which named intelligent peaking or smart peaks. This peaking system consists of ultrasonic testing for the pipeline for the thickness and inspection internal diameter of the pipeline. So the picking station, it's organization of pick trap, pick launcher as receiver and piping connection with special type of the valves and the equipment. This is station are designed to receive the picks from the pipeline upstream section and launch the picks into the downstream section. The pick traps and the pick launcher and the receiver. The pick launcher, as we explained, is the trap that we will put the picks into the pipeline and we will receive it by the receiver. The design, the most important when we design a pick trap or a pick station, the first thing, the product, what we need to do to separate or to put uh, there as a test header. That is the most important thing in the process design. So after what we, we will discover what picks we, we have to use and which kind of cleaning we are doing it. So we design the measure and minor barrel sizes, the lengths. And the second thing is minor barrel wall thickness. It's most important thing, the internal diameter of the mineral barrel must be the same with the ID of the pipeline. So on that, we will choose our pick trap design code. It's mostly the same with the design code of the pipeline. And we will design the closure. Mostly the closure design is ASMA section A, division one or two. We have to know the design pressure and design temperature, the vessel hydrostatic test pressure, the pipeline product, closure orientation, and corrosion allowance, closure bore. This all inputs we need to design the peak station or, or the peak traps. The most part of the pick traps is the closer, the quick opening closers. The design consists of this, the final element analysis and stress calculation and cycle live calculation. An examination of the stress and categorization. After this, all the design parameters we will check our closures, the thickness, the cycles, the cycle life, and the material of the quick opening closure. For the quick opening closure, according to ASME 8 Division 1, paragraph UG35, and ASME Division two, 
part 4.8, the clauses must be in the safe time and to be equipped with one to prevent opening the closer while there is any pressure on it. Our banana type closer, as you see in the video, it's equipped with two locking device. It's multi-use, the warning of the pressure and prevent opening the closer while it's under pressure. And also, and also, we can equip by the third key locking system to the closers. So we have multi locking devices and key locking to ensure the safety of the operation of the closer. Also, we have the end connection, the pick receiver and the pick trap to the uh, pipeline. It's maybe flange connection or welded direct to the pipeline. General pick traps parts as the follow, the minor barrel, the measure barrel, and the reducers. And we talked about the quick opening closures with the nozzles for the piping connection and the pick signaler and the safety valves connection nozzles. We also need for the picking safety picking system, the pick handling system, which is the pick trolley and jeep crane. The handling system ensures the safe inserting the picks into the reducer part. And also for the big size of picking picks, we need lifting device to lift the peaks into the trailer and insert it into the peak station. Peak station valves and interlocking system. Also, the picking station can be equipped with key interlocking system, which works as a sequence of the closing and opening the valves to ensure the safe operation and every step to be done in the exact stage of the other. The peak signaler is advice that, that we conduct the moving the peak from or into the peak receiver launchers. So we can conduct that our peaks received into to the receiving trap and it's free, uh, it's gone free from the valve so we can close the valve and get back the peak. The peak handling system, as we explained, the peak trailers and the jeep cranes. Also this peak station can be designed and manufactured as a single skid mounted. So even also it can be used for several pipelines with the same diameters. So we don't have to put every pipeline a single peak station. It can be designed with the piping and the valves. So only we have to move it and connect it to the pipeline and do our picking operation. 
And also the skis can be designed with adjustable legs. So if there is any difference in the height of the pipeline, different pipeline, so we can use the same skid for several picking operations. The most problem in the peaks design, as we explained, it's the closures. And there is many accidents with the human life cased by uh, wrong design of the closure or opening the closure while it's under pressure. So the most important in the design of the closures is the locking system to be ensured that the closure cannot be opened while there is, if any, pressure inside the trap. As we and Agar, we manufactured and supplied the uh, peak receiving station with skids, skid mounted or plummet ones to the owner operated companies like Shell, BP, Total, Chevron, and also we complete projects of uh, peak stations for EPC companies like Petrofac, Schlumberger, Balcha and the national oil companies also. This is an example of the peak rece rece receiver with size 48 to 52 inches with equipped with quick opening closures, which manufactured and it's in the use for Bulgar as trans gas. And the pressure of uh, this pix was the design pressure of 120 bar. So some skid mounted picking systems. Also a sample of uh, peak receiver with 44 to 46 inch. Also, our closers with equipped with two safety warning devices and locking devices. Also, for the peak size, the opening we designed and located with autocaters that for easy opening and close, closing. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Mohamed. So we can take some questions. Uh, we can take some questions. Uh, we have already in one actually. Uh, do we need extra mechanical mechanical safety interlocking for adding QOC? So, uh, Mr. Musa, can you answer the question? Yes, uh, I can answer this question. Sorry. Uh, actually, our design of uh, quick opening closures does not require additional mechanical safety interlock system. Uh, unless, unless complete system is required to synchronize with all uh, with with other all wires. For that reason, uh, there is no need any additional interlocking system for our design. Uh, okay, another question. Uh, what are the parameters for choosing the pitch handling system? Maybe Mr. Mohamed, just a second. For the pick handling system, the parameters we need, the pick size that will be used, uh, the pick diameter, which will be the same of the mineral barrel diameters, so, and we need maximum load of the peaks, the weight of the maximum uh, peak will be handled, handled, and the length of the peaks, because some intelligent peaks, uh, it can be two meters or three meters long. So what we need, the size of the peak, the weight and the length of the peak that uh, will be used. 
for uh, for the same for the chip crane we need only to know the maximum weight of the peak will be handled uh, thank you mr Mohamed. and we have also a live question request just a second mrs nicola poldi yes we can just a second uh, <clears throat> good morning yes. can you hear me yeah we can hear you Ah, thank you so much uh, for, for your presentation. First of all, Mr. Mohamed, I'm Nicola from Just a Italy. second, just a second. Hello? Hello? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for, for your presentation, first of all. Uh, Nicola from uh, from Angioletti Vesely in Italy. Um, now, the, my question is, uh, as you as you know, as you know, the most important things when you when you fit a peak glass receiving trap on the pipeline is to match perfectly the internal diameter of the line. Of course, when you have to design these uh, equipments, you have to uh, calculate according to let's do example B thirty one point eight. And uh, when you have to buy material uh, from stock or whatever, and I'm talking about the pipes, in any, in any case, you have to add 12.5% of tolerance. And how do you match, my question is, how do you match perfectly the internal diameter of the pipeline with your minor barrel? Because in any case, you 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 got you got a little bit of difference. So how do you how do you solve the problem in this case? We solve these problems. We follow the design code of the pipeline because there is some uh, problems, as you mentioned. For for example, the designing the pick trap according to ASME eight. Uh, division one, but if you go through the pipeline, it is according to 31, four or eight. If it, there is a two different design code, you will have a problem with the internal diameters because the two codes will give you the thickness of the pipeline as a different. This is one. And the second thing to match the internal diameters by ruling a plate. Sorry? So when we rule it with the design calculation, which is give us the thickness, then we rule the minor barrel according to the internal diameters. Yeah, I, I understand, but every time specification said strictly, you must follow the internal diameter of the line. And if you, for example, you have a 14 inch minor barrel, you, you have to proceed by pipes and your pipes never match exactly the internal diameter. So you got a little bit different. Uh, this is problem forbidden. If you have a different in the internal okay, diameter, sorry, sorry you sorry will for have a problem with the piggings. If you uh, use, uh, this for gauging peaks, so you will not have the uh, the internal diameters. The peak when it will leave the peak launchers, the disc will give us the internal diameter of the minor barrel. So we don't have a, such a choice. We have to make exactly the internal diameter of the minor barrel with the exact of the pipeline. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, you don't have any problem if you have to calendar from uh, uh, grade 70 for larger, for larger, uh, let's say, traps, because you calendar in any time you respect the, the, the internal diameters. But when you have to proceed with pipes in, in some cases, anyway, you got, for example, 0 0.5 maximum one millimeter difference. Uh, maybe you can you can work on uh, uh, on this difference uh, with uh, with uh, 
uh, machining precise uh, inside the pipes for 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 a certain just to avoid just to avoid this difference. But of course, you you know what I mean. I think you you understood me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. For, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, see other questions. Okay. Uh, the one is: What are the quick opening closure spare parts? How often we? How often do we need to change them? The spare parts of the closures, it's the gasket, the orient gasket for the complete the closure and for the uh, orings for the uh, treasure warning device. How long and how often it has to be changed? It depends on the operation and the cycles, but usually one year, one per year, it has to be changed. And after every operation, the area of the O-ring and to be greased and cleaned well. Okay, another one. Uh, you said uh, you can manufacture mobile peak launcher and receiver. Can you explain the advantages? The Advantages of the mobile system within the pyramid system, as we explained, uh, you, uh, we will have the all piping connection with the valves on one circuit. So we don't have any problem with the piping in the side or the orientation of the nozzles. So we have a single point of connection to the pipeline. We will bring, we will take the kicker line connection to the peak traps and the connection into the pipeline. So for the balance line, the uh, nozzle, the pressure safety valves and other connection. So you will not have any problem on the site on the piping. Uh, okay, we have another. Uh, what is the requirement of bidirectional pigging? Uh, in a case, I want to use the trap as a launcher and receiver from Eloho Ukojor. Just like an example. We design a multi direction pig receiver launchers. What we need there, we have to treat the ma minor barrel length as a receiver, as a launcher. So we will keep it as a a receiver length, what that means, it has to be with the length of the longest peak that will be used. So we have to be ensured that the peak received and free from the valve before we close it. And we will need additional nozzle. We, the peak trap will have a kicker nozzle and bypass nozzle. One, it will be near the closers and the bypass will be near the reducer. Okay. So in this case, we can use the same trap as a receiving or launching. Uh, and another one. Uh, how is new ASME standards affecting ASME use stamp certifications for pig traps? Yes, I can reply to this question. Uh, we, we, we have uh, received new uh, requirements from the ASME for the ASME UPAS steps for the quick opening closures. Uh, we can manufacture quick opening closures with the ASME U stamp, uh, even as a part, uh, also uh, as a complete system if the design cause is, it is applicable for the ASME standard rules, uh, section eight, division one. Uh, in this case, uh, with the updated ASME standard, we have, uh, we have uh, read uh, the mandatory appendix 47. Uh, there is a uh, much more requirements compared with the ASME edition uh, 2019. 
Now, personal certification is the most important one. Uh, we have we have certifying engineers in here. Uh, we have responsible in charge for the design activities from the beginning till the end of the design activities. Uh, and yes, uh, we have more strict requirements for the ASME co uh, compliance uh, standards. Okay, another one from Paulo. Uh, can the same peak systems be used with a multi pipeline? Uh, which one do you like to answer? For the multi pipelines, as we talk, if the internal diameter of the pipelines is the same, we can use this multi pigging system. And as I explained, we can make it as a skid mounted with adjustable legs for if there is a difference high of the pipelines so we can use the same peak for multi pipelines we need only the internal diameter to be same and the maximum pressure uh, design pressure of the pipelines to be same we can go for low pressure but we cannot go to higher pressure if we have our peak designed for 100 bar, so we cannot use it for 150, but we can use it for 50 bars. The most important, the pipelines to be with the same internal diameters. Okay, thank you. Uh, so another one from Gregory. Uh, what is the minimum ambient temperature at which your system can operate? Uh, it depends on your system requirements, sir. Uh, and also your design temperature is important. But uh, but uh, if we receive some jobs and requirements from our clients, we are uh, taking in consideration of the minimum ambient temperature, and uh, we are choosing the appropriate appropriate material as per the client requirements. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so another one, what is the pressure applying on the pigs for movement? Is there any standards? Uh, I just lost the question, just a second. Yeah. What is the requirement for, yeah, just a second, please. Yeah. What is the pressure applying on the pigs for movement? Is there any standards? No, the peaks moves with the uh, flow forces in the pipeline. So there is no any standard for it. Uh, only as we explained, the peaks moves with the flow forces. So there is no any limitation on that. So another one, what are the parameters for choosing peak handling system? For the peak handling system, we we'll explain we need the size of the peak that will be used. What I mean by the size, the diameter of the peak, the maximum weights of the peaks to be handled, and the longest peak length. We need to know these three parameters. So this is our last question, I guess. Uh, every time we remove pigs, large amount of sludge comes out. Uh, do you have any solution for collecting those sludge safely? Lunchers can be equipped with trays for the slugs. Uh, for example, you can, we can design a portable with wheels uh, which will be fixed under the closers so we can uh, clean this uh, slug easily from the peak and remove it to safe side. Uh, okay, we have, I think 
Nicola again. Uh, yes. Wish to talk. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ciao. No. Just, just quickly, a simple question. When, when, when do you use uh, motor motorized um, big uh, launching trolley, and when do you use manual? I'm talking about trolley, trolley with the jeep crane and everything. So trolley. Yeah. The big trolley. Ah, just a The the advantage of the big, big trolley is to ensure the safe loading of the pick into the reducer section and to back from the receiver. The advantage, because there is some peaks with very weight peaks. So by, you cannot insert it to the minor bar if you don't have additional force on that. And we- so the, the, you will use the handling system to load the picks safely into the pick uh, launcher and receive it safely without damaging the peaks from the receiver. Which is the and limit even, of- You know, there is some rules. You cannot handle uh, some weights in the sites by hu human forces, and there is some limitation on that. So the jeep cranes and handling system assist us to handle the pick. Okay, but which is which is the limit? Which is the limit size? I mean, after 20 for each, uh, which is the limit? It depends on the requirements. We don't have any limitation on that. But uh, for example, if I, uh, the uh, minimum size of the pig is eight, eight inches of the pig can be handled. But if there is any requirements for intelligent picking, we can design it for four inches also. Okay. Yeah. Bene. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Okay, thank you, Nicola. Uh, so another question is from Aif. Uh, just a second. I believe peak move due to pressure differential uh, on upstream and downstream of peak. I think he is asking about the movements. The peak moves with the force of the flow. So there is no any differential pressure will be because when you will launch it, you will you will take the flow from the kicker line behind the pigs and it will be keep moving with the forces of the flow. So there is no any differential on the pressure. Our ball valves and the safety interlock on the dorm became fault uh, with pipeline debris during pressure equation, equations, uh, which caused a pressure differential uh, great enough on the peak door to force the, the door open uh, abruptly. Have you had similar experience before? Any solutions? Our solution is, uh, as I explained, To ASME, ASME uh, Section 8, Division 1, UG35, the closer must have two one warning device if there is any pressure inside, which give you an audio that there is a pressure. And the second is locking system to prevent opening under, under pressure. So in our closers, we have two locking system to prevent any movement even the movement to uh, open the closer if there is any pressure inside the pick trap. Okay, I'm looking looking for. Okay, I'm looking for the new questions, but there are none. I guess. 
Uh, are there any questions? No? Okay then, uh, Mr. Mohamed, Mr. Musa, uh, do you want to add? Uh, Nothing from my side. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, Mr. Musa? No, thank you for your attention. Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, joining our webinar. So, see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.